This video shows how to use JMOL during a PowerPoint presentation. We will customize the molecule in JMOL and save a script that automates the setup of the JMOL window. This allows one to easily start JMOL just before a seminar, giving exactly the format that was prepared previously. JMOL is kept running during the seminar and when you wish to illustrate your point with a rotatable molecule, you Alt-Tab to it. To demo this process, we will consider the molecules morphine and leucine and kefalin. Binding of either molecule to an opiate receptor on the cell surface initiates a pain-blocking signal cascade inside the cell. Though not obvious from the formulas, the three-dimensional structures of the two molecules are similar. To set up the JMOL window, start JMOL and open the console. This is where JMOL commands are entered. The morphine and enkephalin structures were obtained previously from the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center. I used Hyperchem to merge the structures, orient them, and save as a PDB file. Now load the PDB file, change the background to green, space filling atoms, color the ammonium nitrogen's fuchsia so they can be seen. Rotate the molecules so they can be easily compared. And finally, write a script to save these settings. Now we will start over to show how the JMO automation works. Before seminar, start JMO and issue a script command to recreate the view. Now close the console window. Resize the graphics window and Alt-Tab back to PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, we will go to the last slide, which shows a static image and offers more explanation. In enkephalin, the phenylalanine phenyl group is situated below and perpendicular to the phenol ring. In morphine, it is the cyclohexenal ring that is below and perpendicular to the phenol ring. Also, both molecules contain a positively charged ammonium nitrogen near one edge. The enkephalin structure was determined by Aubrey et al., who pointed out the similarity to morphine. Now Alt-Tab to JMOL. These are the phenol rings. This is the enkephalin phenyl group. The morphine hexenal ring. The ammonium nitrogens. Okay, now we alt-tab back to our slides and continue. 